It is funny though. We can't have a you know, a massive scientific breakthrough before a CEO money grubbing motherfucker gets his hands all over it. Gets his hand, gets his greasy palms all over it. Just the fact just the idea that a, you know, people can get shot up into space now. Just the fact that it's being cool, like it's it's being uh, treated as something that's cool, something that people will be able to do someday. You know, like we have all the answers. We can just shoot a rocket up into the sky and hang out there. We know fucking all the stuff. We know all the stuff. I can't wait until space travel becomes something legit. And for the first fucking five years, ten years, people are getting shot up into space. Regular people, you know, Southerners and, and Midwesterners and people from all over the fucking world. I don't know why I'm, I'm singling those people out. But I'm thinking of, like, you know, people who go on cruises, people who think they're getting a deal. We're going to go. We're going to go to space. We're going to have a good time. You know, people, uh, people who financially can't afford a vacation that would be encompassing of the culture of wherever the fuck they're going. Uh, you know, you get to sit and meet with the people and do all this stuff. Or people who just aren't interested in that. People who just aren't interested in that. They And granted, there's no culture out in space, which is why they would be interested in going there. Right? That's what, did, that's what got me to that fucking... Uh, hypotheses of the of the first people that are going to go up into space. It's people who are not interested in learning anything about the place that they're going. So what's better than a place that has zero history? What's better than a place that has zero people, zero culture, zero anything? Those people who are drawn to that type of vacation are going to go to space. That's who are going to do it. And I can't wait for the first five or ten years for a commercial space flight to take off. It's affordable. People can do it. And uh, one day, one of the rockets just gets sucked into some fucking wormhole that nobody knew existed. Uh, or an intergalactic fucking being comes around with a, with a spaceship and just locks onto the machine that you guys are up in the sky with. Locks onto your rocket or your pod or whatever and just fucking obliterates it. Just... You know, and then we can start intergalactic wars and things, you know, because it'll become a, we don't want that money to go out the window. We don't want that revenue stream to go out the window. We still want people to, to go to space. We want people to go to space and have a good time. And, and we want people who are devoid of anything that regards, you know, human life or, or life in general, you know, nature. We don't want any of that. The people who go out into space are the people who don't care about any of that shit. That's what, it'll, that's what it'll be. I'm thinking long term, right? The people who do it now are mega rich. They're doing it because they can, ultimately, right? If you add billions and billions of dollars and someone said, you can do this, by the way. You can buy uh, lions, you're going to do it, right? You can, uh, you know, buy that skyscraper, you're going to do it. So, and that's the same thing for anybody. Once it becomes affordable, it'll be, uh, it'll be a thing, you know, it'll definitely be a thing. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is that watch when some shit that wasn't accounted for in space, a landscape that we know very little about, just like the ocean, right? Watch when someone goes out there and some crazy fucking shit happens. That's all I'm saying. Um, but, hey, black hole, cool, right? Very cool.